What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Faction After Hours podcast. I'm your host, Carl, with our other co-host, Frankie. We're missing a couple people here today, but uh, it's a Saturday, and we thought, why not uh, Why not? And why not bring you guys another podcast? Because we have a uh, guest today. We have a guest. Right? Yeah, who, who is it? Who is it? I don't know. Who is it? What's your name, man? Come here. It'd be me. Come here. It's me, Ethan. <laughs> we got Ethan. Ethan here today. We have Ethan. We have our good friend, Ethan, everyone. Let's... Give him a round of applause, you know, because we can hear you. He's clapping for himself. What a guy. Oh, Humble God, guy, Carl. this guy. No, but Ethan is a good friend of ours. If you didn't know, he uh, fabricates a lot of the stuff that uh, gets gets sold here at Faction, right? Doesn't yeah. he bas- Basically, uh, we call him the wolf. He only comes out when we need him. We just do the howl. Is that what wolves do? They only come out when you need them? Well, usually when you're Don't bleeding out either. in the woods, but, you know, something e- like that. Ethan's saying you got to pry him out. you got to bait him. Yeah, we exactly. We gotta bait him out. <laughs> yeah, no, he fabricates everything here. So, um, Carl saw him and said we should do a podcast. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, n- like yeah, yeah. I actually have a few questions for Ethan. Um, Let's go. Ethan's a very interesting guy. If you didn't know, he loves peanut M and M's, and he has an S thirteen. Um, well, we'll talk about the S thirteen for now. But uh, well, why don't you, you talk about how you? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> if you're tuned into the YouTube portion of this podcast, you're gonna see Frankie's literally sneaking Oreos into his mouth on camera. Oh my god, yeah, insane! Well, you have a problem. I came prepared. Not stale. Not I came prepared. Stale. Anyway, Ethan has an S13. It's a pretty. It's it's a very very. You're a meticulous builder, are you not? Come here. Come here. I'd say somewhat, <laughs> but don't be fooled. It's a hunk of junk. No, he. No, is. it's not. He's very meticulous. Yeah, you're very meticulous. I know Frankie doesn't really like a lot of things in life but I think you are a fan of Ethan's car are you not yeah there's a lot of cool stuff on it it's not just a normal s13 you know yeah me and Ethan are very similar people so are you yeah I've never heard you say anything like that in my entire life yeah we are We're both what's your scary. favorite color three two one go black <laughs> whoa black and gray factions, those are my those are my two favorite factions colors. factions motto right yeah. there we go. <laughs> Uh, I'm calling call him Gray Leader for nothing. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we both build cars the same way. Very meticulous and very detail-oriented. Yeah, so me and um, him have always seen eye to eye when it comes to fabrication. So. Am I allowed to talk about, for, as an example, these right here? No, because he didn't do it. You didn't do these? And we didn't, and we didn't, re- we but didn't release them. But that's them. an example right. of something as very meticulous to do that. Yeah. I'm looking at a throttle cable bracket, right? Or I'm assuming an SR. Well, no one knows about that yet, but yeah. No one knows about it, but if you're listening to the podcast, you know, might as well reward the podcast listeners. If we throttle, figure out, if we figure it out, we're not cable done yet. bracket has a little engraving that says Faction Motorsports. Absolutely super dope piece. No one thinks of that except for I'm assuming these two people right here, Ethan and Frankie. Um, tell uh, tell Carl about more about your car. Yeah, let's talk about more of the S13. What would you like to know about my car? It's what a, color is it? Tell the tell the listeners. It is sandstone beige metallic. What is that from, anyway? It's is that the factory the... color that everyone seems to hate, along with the brown It's that interior. champagne thing. Yeah. It's a champagne color. He's got the brown interior. Champagne diet. Champagne diet? <laughs> He's got that brown interior, too. Yeah, and the brown interior. Did well, you know the brown interior is actually expensive now? It's very expensive. It's very expensive to get brown interior right now. Yeah, he's been hunting I, them down. I actually hold many brown interior pieces. I've been hoarding them over the years. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's I, your address? Ooh, that's <laughs> confidential. <laughs> but okay, so it's so it's that champagne color with the brown interior, but champagne poppy. Yeah, that'd be me, champagne poppy. Okay. That's your Instagram name, right? It is one not. word, <laughs> one word, no under no underscores or anything. Champagne poppy. If you want to follow Ethan? It. Yeah, hit me up. So it's got a. Did you even tell him what it is? It's a. It's an S13. It's a coupe. Yeah. It's not a Sylvia or anything. A lot of people nowadays, I, for some reason, when they see a coupe, they automatically think of a Sylvia. I'm going to call it a Sylvia either way. Are you? Yeah. So Frankie's going to call it a Sylvia mainly because it's It's, it's got a Sylvia front end. With a Sylvia front end as well as a uh, SR. What, what SR is it? An S13 SR20. It's a red top? Uh, it was a black top. Black top? Yeah. It's not just normal S13. Do you have some? Do you have motor yeah. work done? What kind of turbo yeah. you got well, on that thing? Turbo is an HKS GT 3037S oh. on a custom manifold made by a dude in England who's pretty cool. What happened to this fancy manifold you had? Which one? He's had many manifolds. Wow, this guy. Which one? 
I mean, no, the fancy one is still on there. I hold some other. The, the really spirally looking one. You remember that one when I first met you? You said well, you bought it when that? you were overseas. When did you first meet him? I met Ethan 2016, 17. I had my S13 hatch. Man, I I know, I've known this man that. since 2011. I've maybe. literally only... I would When you say we met earlier than that, we, we were like said hi to each other once. And then it would be like, oh... Okay, cool. See ya. Like, that's it. So but I really, I really met Ethan like 2016, 2015 when I had my S13 hatch. Can you give us a story about how you met him, or is there how any, I met Ethan? Is there any fun story there? It's a pretty funny story. I thought there um, was. You, do you fuck with this? What? The, the I story? I don't know where this is going. Do you, I don't remember you don't it. remember the story? No, I don't. Well, we're well, gonna find out. Let's I guess go. our my friendship is so important to you. <laughs> Top priority. Absolute so, shithead over here. So Shit important, friend. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's hear it, Carl. Okay, so I had this S13 hatch. It was a it was a SR swap, and uh, I had an open diff. And mm. oh, as as that I was it. yeah as oh, yeah you okay. remember yeah, now? Yeah, uh-huh. Sunny or a rainy afternoon. Chris tells me to hit this guy up, Ethan. He's like, yeah, you know him. Like, hit up Ethan. I'm like, Ethan. Ethan really was a guy you go to to get your diff welded. That, get, get that was welded that was the Ethan's. start. Unbreakable diffs. Unbreakable. Um, Unbreakable. We sell them here. I don't even think you plated mine, and it was fantastic. You said I don't. I don't need to do that. If you weld it right, it should be pretty sturdy. Sturdy. But he usually plates them though. Yeah, you usually. Upon but why didn't he plate it? Tell him the story. I don't remember. I'm just gonna tell this. Let's come on. Hold back. Hold on a minute. Hold on yeah. a minute. So. I show up to Ethan's house. Uh, you, we're both from North Jersey. That was great. I was like, cool. I'll just go over there. Why not? I've never met this guy before, and he invited me over to his house. It's fantastic. What could go wrong? So then I pull up, and Ethan and I are shooting the shit for like three hours or something. We eat dinner and stuff, and we're hanging out, talking about his S13. And then he goes, wait, you wanted me to weld the diff like right now? And I was like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's why I'm here. And he's like, oh, dude, this diff is so dirty, I can't weld this at all. I'm like, what? So you were just hanging out. I cleaned out. it with brake clean and this and that. And as as I, as you guys know already from earlier, Ethan is very detail-oriented. He did not like my cleaning job of the diff. But then, I don't know if you remember, but you so kindly were like, I actually have this other pumpkin right here. I could just weld this one and I'll take yours. A core I charge. just met Ethan, and he's taking this as a core. He doesn't actually do this as a business. He's just helping me out. Yeah. And and he took my diff, and then he welded that one, put the other one in my car. We had some good Chinese food, candy beef. Ooh, the candy beef. The candy <laughs> beef. Fan favorite. Yeah, oh my gosh. They're sparrows, but they're just like, they, they do Which it so well. Which place is that? Poudon Royal. In Poudon. Northville? It's in Norwood. 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 Oh, Finest so candy good. Beef. Candy beef. Oh, yeah. That was... We ate that before we even welded the dip. Because I'm telling you, we were just chilling the whole time. How long were you there? Three hours. At, or, well, with yeah, we welding the dip. We were for a while. A while. Like, I didn't leave until... Like, That's standard late. procedure for Ethan. You go to his, you go to his house, him, get something really. done. This was the first you, time. You just end up talking for three hours. And Ethan's then talking about his, like, go-kart he has. He's like, yeah, man. Like, that thing does, like, that little cart you have. You, you don't even race it. him or anything. You don't... You just bought it. One day. That was that long ago? Yeah. So I have a tag card. Yeah. I have a 125C touch and go card with a Rotax 125, does about 70 miles an hour, and it's fun to just rip up and down the street. Why is it called tag and go? It's like touch and go. Touch and go? So it's for drifting. So you can like start them instead of needing like a motorized starter to fire them. Or you push them and stuff. And you jump in. You can sit in it, start it, you touch it, and. Oh. That's how how we met though. Yeah, I've seen him rip it once. Have you? Is that when you hit the curb? Yeah, the time you <laughs> flipped the curb. <laughs> Wait, let's hear about that. I want to hear about well, that. Well, we took it out finally because we wanted to, you know, try it out. And, Where are uh, you? In a safe environment. <clears throat> professional clothes Office building course, up right? in Mawa. So. Oh, yeah, great. It, Pearson. Was it Pearson? No. Oh, that that was a huge part. It might be a It, might be near it, it was huge right off of, uh, I'm not going to talk about it. But, uh, yeah, so he t- we take it out. I rode it too, right? Yeah, everyone was driving it. Yeah. Is it, it a first. shifter car? No. And what, then it's a 125? Uh, yeah. Eventually, hit a curb, right? I flipped it with the tire. I forgot the rear axle Did you flip? Was about, no. 
I forgot the rear axle is about five feet long, and I tried to cut it close to a curb, and I snagged the tire and bent the rear axle. Yeah, so that was out of commission for a while. Is it still out of commission? It is not. Fresh axle. Fresh axle. <laughs> We're ready to go. <laughs> Put TEs on it. Get me some, like, six-inch TEs, and I'm down. Three six bolt. inch three bolt you see how i i, I we're going to transition now because i'm going to ask ethan what kind of wheels he has on his s13 what wow kind of that was you? really that was really cool was it how you did that transition and told everyone slick. it's pretty good right yeah what I kind do. of wheels do you have i have some t37s in white they're rotas tell everyone they're, they're definitely rotas they're made definitely in, not made rotas. in 1998 <laughs> got the birth date stickers remade it was a prototype yep. You definitely got this. weren't my first choice of wheels, but they were a reasonable price back in the day, so I bought them and refinished What's them. What's reasonable to you right now? I think I paid like 1500 for them. 17 by 9 plus 22 all around. That's good. Ooh, 17s all around. Because I, I like 17s all around on S13s. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I, I, I mean, too. like, I like that it's the stagger. Obviously, the stagger is like 17 by 9 front, 18. I think the stagger looks decent, but I'm pretty big on proportions and sometimes certain side views just doesn't look right to me yeah teams in the back i completely agree with it even with 17 sometimes if you look at an s13 on the side at a certain angle at least to me it just looks like the wheel doesn't fit whatsoever and everything just looks totally out of proportion. i completely i think the only car that looks good with 18s is s14 that, me and uh, that, me, S, body, so. I like 180s can run staggered because i think the hatch looks okay with the 18 in the back but 18 in the front of an S13, I don't too know. It's too, too big, big. Too big. But yeah. on an S14, Especially 18s for all around look great. Yeah. I'm with that. Yeah. For S14, I, just, I don't even think I would run 17s unless I had like a stock body. That's so crazy because we I was just talking to um, Nick, one of the listen, one of our listeners. Nick, if you're listening, shout out to you. What's up, dude? <laughs> um, but we were just talking about because he had test fitted some 18s and I was like, ooh, that looks that was good and he has like some really aggressive arrow and it like looks great on an s14 and i mean it has been done before i've seen 18s on uh kevin fans from boss town his his that car looked good but it's so undrivable not saying he doesn't drive it he drives the shit out of it but when other people the way that they carry it that like the way that they style it the way that they have it like if i was to own that and i was going to try that it would just look so off to me all the time let's put it this way you need to like it, it needs to be perfect it needs to be perfected if you're gonna put 18s on the car yeah, like you yeah. need to, it what's that word i'm looking for i'm looking for this perfect. word no not, not perfect. perfect like you're never gonna get perfection but it's just i don't know like i could picture people just putting eight throwing 18s on their s13s with stock body and it just looks like shit like well well like 18 by nines in the back of a hatch stock body they, that works you're tucking it you remember johnny's car like the way that that was? Yeah, but that car was dialed. Like, I'm talking like people that just throw wheels on the car oh, and then well, they got KBD and like it just doesn't look good. You love KBD. KBD is great. What a if you're blind. For a couple days. It comes in a flat rate box. Like yeah, a, it comes in a box smaller than a computer box. When you're tight on space, buy KBD. <laughs> I've seen, I don't know, the concept was good. When The when concept is great. Fantastic concept. <laughs> that's about it. But that's in where reality, it ends. Obviously, everything should be OEM. Yeah, yeah. If that's I'm another right. thing about these about uh, this S13 that you have is it's uh, OEM. But you know what's what's crazy is I remember one of our conversations. So your car is mainly like OEM type of era, like very similar to Chris's car. In, everything in is OEM, and Chris's bumper was actually a bumper I purchased, but I think I looked for about three years for a genuine aero bumper, and I finally found one, so I sold. Oh, but you, yeah, I remember right. you put that. You put so that. My dorky dory one. It's a dorky dory one. But you told you that this is where yeah, I was going with this. Shout out to dorky dory with real quality products. Yeah, you said fit. it fit yeah, better it fit, than the OEM yeah, one. It did fit better than the OEM one. Yeah, but there was something about it you just couldn't deal just with. The fact I remember. That I got my hands on an OEM one. No, there was like one part of it that you were looking at, and you're like, I can't, I can't deal with this. It was like it's, one little. It I like it maybe was, was wavy underneath the radiator area, like one little thing. It's possible. Maybe there were waves. There was like the, one where thing. The, the center grill is supposed to be. There might have been some waves in it. See, me and him will just stare at cars for hours and just be yeah, like, "Well, we that's not problem. working." Yeah, we I can totally problem. see that. I know you're not lying whatsoever. 
That's why Frankie makes me work on his cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I get Ethan to come down here. Then work you guys on the car. sit here for till three in the morning doing a freaking little panel. Yeah, a little project, but. It's easy to work with Ethan because he knows exactly what I'm looking for. For so. the audience that that are listening, Ethan does all of Frankie's stuff on his car. Like, the, yeah, did well, you do he, the cage. I didn't do the cage. You no, did not no, do the cage. I do more oh. like you crash your car and repair it. Repair it, or yeah. like you got rust off. By the way, this rust. is not an advertisement, so don't yeah, bring don't, our cars. Don't, don't bring your cars repair. here. Don't don't bring don't bring your cars There's to Ethan. More he, than you he think. hates it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves rust repair. Uh, hit him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I was going to ask you, when did, I want to tell everyone, how did you get into welding? Uh, I, want, yeah. I want that story. How did I get into welding? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, yeah. I'm, so I got a job in high school working at a machine shop and, uh, there was a kid somewhere around my age that was renting a small space doing welding and machining and, uh, I got to be friends with him and then after I graduated high school, he, uh, planning on opening a shop so I helped him start up a architectural metal fabrication business uh, we made some really cool stuff some really high-end stuff made a bunch of tables that were in the lunchroom in the Guggenheim I didn't even know wait the Gu- excuse me the museum the museum oh okay the Guggenheim the is a museum, museum that kinds of crazy stuff. I don't I don't even think I knew about this shit like I didn't know that either a friend of like Jay-Z's and we were like forced to get it done two weeks early because Beyonce wanted her birthday party <laughs> Shout out to the Darby in New York What City. the fuck? Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. What? what? So, yeah. I, so I taught myself how to weld over there in my free time. I used to run like In a high school or after high school? After high school. Okay. Like while you were going to Lincoln Tech? Um, this might have been after. Okay. Because I worked at Slideways for a little while and I had enough of that and I linked back up with him and was working there again. It was an on and off. Both of those oh, places. Oh, okay. The bosses were uh, not the best, so. Yeah. So you were kind of just teaching yourself how to weld? Yeah. Uh, I had some free time one time there, like after work, and I just decided to try welding aluminum, and I got it on my first shot. And they were wow. like, all right, you can start welding stuff now. So you didn't go to school? No, I didn't go to school. I just monkey see, monkey do. I just watched the other guys there and just kind of tried to mimic what they were doing. And That's pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. I, and he his welds, once, I mean, there's always that phase where Ethan will go away for a month or two and then he'll come yeah, back. Yeah, still and, rusty. If you want to be good at welding, you have to do you it have, constantly, yeah. like every day. But then once you come here and you start pumping work out, all of a sudden it starts. Yeah, you start progressing, you get back yeah. into that rhythm. Yeah. There's definitely way better welders out there than me, but I that, can stick metal together. That's something I probably should have learned years ago, and I never did. And I have it's a really good teacher right form. here. <laughs> especially, especially TIG welding. That's a real art form. I have yeah. that, that cheap Harbor Freight welder that I needed for like a quick little fix. I, I, snapped a bol- I snapped a bolt, and I needed to weld a nut to it, so I got a welder from a friend of mine. And... Uh, I have no idea what I was doing. I watched the YouTube video. They said, glob it on. I'm like, all right. (laughs) Why didn't you weld your own diff? It worked. Uh, What? Me? Yeah. Weld the diff? Explosion. (laughs) Absolutely not. Don't don't sleep on those Harbor Freights. I remember that time I welded Joe Iano subframe back together at the track, and then he, like, continued to drive on it for, like, a week or two. What event was that? I don't remember. Can you show me how to use that eventually? We'll go back. We'll come back to that conversation after this is done, but... Yeah, Ethan's done a lot of trackside repairs, too. Yeah. He's... Every luck, now and again. He's, luckily, when he's at the track, something usually ends so up do, breaking, do you so... I do not. I've been around it since probably 2007. And oh, yeah. If you want to get into that story, he's been into it way longer than me. How did you two meet? I want to know that. Dustin. Yeah, it was right? probably, Yeah, I think Dustin. Dustin brought everyone together because I went to English Town... To watch drifting, I actually he met, was the first one I met. I there. met Frankie when he drove a Mini Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was we covered sick. that in the first that episode. Mini Cooper is so sick. If you oh, haven't heard the first episode, tune into that one after this. But Frankie had a Mini Cooper. Ha <laughs> ha. No, pre, it was sick. Pre two forty. I love yeah, that, those. That Mini Cooper. Ethan, did you did you like my Mini Cooper? I thought it was sick, and I actually saw it at a car show after you sold it. Yeah. And the guy had a license plate that said Pebble Pusher, and it was on some like fifteen inch CE twenty eight thing. What'd you sick. have done to that Mini Cooper? We're, we're gonna take a quick tangent. I want to know because so, so then I can have everything. I can have like a vision uh, in my head. Okay. Um, I had a supercharger pulley. What color was it? It was green, British racing green. 
Wow. Um, Color. I had an RMW. RMW was this company that made parts. It had an RMW header and camshaft. I think it was what? a single overhead cam in that car. That car was sweet. Was it an S, so it was turbo? It was an, yeah, it was supercharged. Oh, it supercharged. was like the, the first Mini Cooper. I like the turbo were. ones. Yeah. S's for supercharged car. No, they no, do have the not. S have turbo, turbo ones. Tur- get, After get out of here, Ethan. 2005 <laughs> was supercharged, and then 2007 and up is the turbo, I think. But it's a Chrysler motor, so it's not anything crazy. I thought it was a BMW motor. It's a BMW car. It's a Chrysler engine. Ooh, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, but the turbo set. Of, I mean, the supercharger set. It was like, oh, racing dynamics. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, wait. Those are those. They make That's they make a lot of wheels. wheels. They make a lot of seventeen inch they four look, by one hundred wheels. Dude, the car was sick, man. So, but I I was. You're probably the coolest kid in town, dude. But I was you in. Had that in high I school. wanted a JDM car so bad. So. Yeah, that's what every ah you ah wow. So you were. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a picture in my head of what Frankie was. I was a weirdo. Short you hair. St- was you still not that still short? Weird. Yeah, but it, was, it was decent. It was short. Then I was in the crazy the things. I thought you said you never had short hair. No, it wasn't that short. It was like like still like kind of like. Uh, it was like the you know the Justin Bieber cut. Yeah, bulk cut. Bulk cut. <laughs> bulk cut. A little bit better bulk than that, cut. but yeah. <laughs> So you had a bowl cut and you drove a mini. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> pretty much, pretty no, much the, the car main was sick, star of Zoe 101. No, it was a sweet car. Yeah. That, that thing was probably fast, dude. I smoked some STIs in that thing. Stop. I did. Yeah, at least one. I know that. Stop. Yeah, yeah. and then the, then the head got gunked with it carbon made like and then you two, had to stop. It made like 200, at least 200 at the wheel, but I think more than that. I think around like 230 at the wheel or something. That's a awesome. small car. That's and it, and they yeah they weigh about twenty four hundred. Those pounds. things are quick, man. Like like Actually, around corners, they're a great car. Yeah, that was why I liked it because it, because of the way it handled. But you know. So you guys met when you saw when he had the mini at a car well. Show. Dustin probably introduced us, or I saw you at the track. I don't yeah, know. You said something about going to Club Blues with Dustin. I've yeah. never met Dustin either. Well, Dustin's another person we have to get on here, but um. Right. Yeah, Dustin is an OG in the drift community to me uh, around here. When did Dustin start drifting? 2009 or 8? Probably around when I met him because he had his Z. Yeah. So I met Dustin pre, I don't know, a long time ago when I worked at a golf course for a little while during the summer he showed up. Oh, really? And I saw him back. That's how you met him? That was the first time I met him. Then... Oh, wow, I went I to one of that. the legendary Edgewater meets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And I saw him there, and I was like, "Hey, I know you." Yeah. And we talked, and then wow. I didn't see him for a while, and then I pulled up to Lincoln Tech, and there was this kid doing donuts in the parking lot at like six thirty in the morning <laughs> in the Z, and I'm like, "Wait a second. And, and then, then you went then to the same I, school. And yeah. Then from then on, we became like actual friends. Zs were expensive back then. His dude. Z was sick back then. He had a centrifugal supercharger jic wheels jic coilovers he had like yeah six piston four piston brakes jic oh my god yeah, he was he yeah JIC dustin's been in it he was in it for a while man he yeah got for, in the, it for the listeners who are listening that uh, aren't familiar with this brand jic that we're talking about it was an old jdm brand i feel like they always suspension come, brand yeah suspension brand they always come on like cars and people just take them off right away because they're old n- nowadays no they're kind of old but that was that was a cool little uh, little tangent. little tangent there. What was the first event you saw at English Town, drifting? Ooh, that's a tough one. Well, I think this it's at least pre road track when they still did uh, parking lot events. Mm. Yeah, it was probably parking lot events. I don't know if the road track was open yet. And what is this like? Twenty ten? No. Probably like, well, maybe probably the best event was uh d1 english there it town. is i went down to d1 english town what year was that oh seven d1 english town maybe 2008 where they nine. have it what track did they have they had it on the road course i think really? it was nine i have pictures on a flip phone somewhere of like uaos car what Cyphers, chaser let's get let's get back was, to that that's signal awesome auto, was there signal auto cars there let me uh i don't remember yeah look at it, it was 2009 2009 D1 yeah, English D1 Town. English Town. Yeah, that's something that I wish I was at. But I was like a year or two late to the game. Yeah, it was pretty sick. 2009, you said? 
I remember I went down there with uh, the shop I worked at at the time, and we, like, rented a U-Haul truck and brought, like, a couch and speakers and, like, a DJ booth. <laughs> and my boss, Frank, was, like, DJing. That was Slideways? Yeah, that was Jesus, Slideways that's back sick. in the day. Good times back what? then. Yeah, Team Orange cars. It was Team Orange was there. Yeah. There's some oh, footage of this shit. Video. Yeah, wow. D one GP. Wasn't Petty driving the shit there too? And no, nah, it was on. A, There's some OGs the there. Right? This is the parking lot course. I think that was the first one. There was another one on the road track. Wasn't what's his face? In I the think comp. Petty drove the M A Zombie car. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this era of <laughs> cars. Team Orange, Subaru, that car was a brand new car back then. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, was Petty driving that? I don't remember I think who he... was driving. It was that white coupe. Wow, Pretty I can't sick. find shit Dude, this is this. nuts. What? This Wait, which insane. event Which event are you talking about? Was it on the road course or was it in the parking lot? This is lot? in the parking lot. one in the parking lot and yeah. then there was another this one This is a on parking lot course. and they don't to be going really, really fast. I know. Um, I wish that we would do stuff like that again. Yeah, I want to get that layout. Is that is that in the cart track? It was in the cart track. It seems like they... You know how turn one, you're going towards the now co yeah. lot? Oh, They're but coming the thing from is, in the co lot, which yeah, you cannot touch that's anymore. That's the problem. Flying in, and it's a huge right to Damn, a left man. hairpin. That's like back, right back. back when they did night moves, they did it on that side, too. Night moves. Yeah, night moves. They had it on Wednesday nights and stuff. That was that was the best time ever. The thing is, is nowadays, moves. I feel like, I don't know, it could go either way. It could be a really big success, big enough where it would cause, like, there'd be, I don't know, like, a Wednesday night. Like, what kind of characters are showing up on a Wednesday night to go drifting, you know? Awesome people. Me. Yeah, me. They're cool real, people. Really dedicated people. Yeah, people who want to go drifting and... You know, don't want to. I don't know. It's Wednesday nights were like there weren't that many people there, so it was yeah, good. It was, it was definitely quiet. Although the thing out. is, is like it track, eventually got pretty busy. I feel like, like uh, not really. Like the cost to have those events. Yeah, I, can, I don't know anything about that. I part can of it. see, like you know, there's everyone's always like, wow, why we want these events? There's obviously going to be like cons. Oh to yeah, buy. logistics. I mean, you got to pay everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, but, I just. Hey, I think uh, I think Chris Knapp should do something like that during the weekday. Yeah, you hear us. Bring hint, hint. Come on, Chris. Shout out to Chris. Thank you for always uh, treating us with the best hospitality, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, t- tell the listeners what we did uh, last yeah, week. Last week? What we do last week. Are we, we going to see this on YouTube? or Eventually. Eventually Not this week, YouTube. but yeah. Uh, last week, we took Dave, young Dave. Man, I'm just so happy for that guy. <laughs> he, I had a great time. We went to uh, English Town for a little private day, East Coast Drift, uh, Drift School. Check them out on Instagram if you haven't already. But uh, they had a little private day. They had Dave doing donuts. I showed up. He was doing donuts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He was doing like a first. figure eight. In the parking lot? In the little, no, in the little. Uh, Just the open section. Where, where tree turn is, that little open. Yeah, yeah. Right so he's doing figure eights. And he was doing them? And he was doing them. Because I brought him to a parking lot the night before. Did you? Yeah. Okay. It looked like he did something before. Yeah, he, he he was getting it. He was he was able to do it, and then he started doing the turn. You know the turn the turn after tree turn when you're doing back yeah, course yeah, pretty much yeah. in reverse. He That's was able to 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 get in there, and 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 do that one turn, and he just kept doing this one turn. And if you guys are unfamiliar with English Town, after this one left little hairpin, there's a long. Well, you're doing this is this is back back course back in reverse. course in reverse. There's yeah. a long right sweeper. It's not a, uh, would you call that a sweeper? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's a long right sweeper. Yeah. It goes uphill. It's a pretty daunting corner if you've never drifted before, and Dave has never drifted before, aside from yeah. his little experience with Frankie. So he was trying to learn how to transition. He was trying to learn how to transition. And he had David Bob in the car uh, for his assistance. David Bob has a ZN6 chassis himself. Yeah, and Dave, Dave is Dave's cousin. What? Yeah, they're related. Oh Inception. my God! Yeah, Inception. Inception. It's, it's a you, Dave and a Dave and a, a, Dave a BRZ. And Dave Inception. <laughs> I was in the car they and I was talking BRZs. to both of them. I was like, "Wait, Dave!" And then it occurred to me that they were both named Dave. Did they both look. They right? both looked at me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" But yeah, no. So yeah, he was in the car trying to teach him, and then I I told Chris, I'm like, "Yeah, he's not gonna get that turn. There's no way." And then the last the run. The very last run. Of the sun night. was setting. Yeah. It was like a movie. I heard Highway to the Danger Zone <laughs> playing. 
All of a sudden, we're just talking. We're, we're not just even talking. Watching. We're we're having a conversation. Dave's having a one run. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this car comes ripping around the corner. Wide like line. Like full throttle. Wide line. Perfect line. Perfect line. And we all look over like, what the hell? And then, finally and then he flicks Dude, it, it crazy. around, pulls the handbrake a little bit, and floors it, and just goes right through. Yeah. And we're like, all the way to the top what of the, hill. the fuck? Yeah. And then that was it. No one had a camera. If it wasn't for David Bob in the car, we oh, would have yeah, never we have, had there is footage tape of, it. Yeah. of this. Check out Dave's Instagram if you haven't. Well, we're we're going to have a full clip. video of We're going to have a full Dave. video of it on the YouTube channel. Um, What else was I going to say? That was insane. It was such a happy... I couldn't even imagine being the age that Dave is and, and you just swung what a car around. 17? He's 16? He's 17. 17. 17. Yeah. And he's like whipping around the track. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine that. That's what's up. Probably so that happy. New generation. We're trying to train him, you know. It's a great platform that he's got there. That's that's the that's the formula of what we were preaching in episode one. Yeah, we're gonna do another we're gonna do another episode because this is it's obviously Saturday, so this is gonna come out on Monday. So How this, is it obvious that it's a man. Saturday? Because we told everyone. We did we? Yeah. Um so Wednesday Wednesday is gonna be our three fifty Z episode. Because wow. I got a little taste of the Z life. Frankie got to drip a 350Z, man. You should have seen this guy. He was like on crack or something. All right, we'll he save got, that for the he other He got one. out of the car. Hold on. No, I, let me let me tell Ethan because it was just a so rare. It's not C6 Frankie. It's going to be Z33 Frankie. Z33 Frankie. Dude, that car's He got out good, of that man. car, dude. And Actually, I'm surprised I didn't hit you Frankie was like, that, 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 car is, that car is great, man. That car is great. Great, yeah. dude. Uh, he's got to let me drive that again, dude. He's got to let me drive it again. It might be an idea for you, Ethan. Put an SR in no. it. No. You don't even need to. He's, it was an it's an HR car, Mike's car. Uh he did awesome too. So Mike they're, is they're Dave's brothers. brother. Yeah. yeah. And they that I thought that was awesome. I like, yeah, let me have a track date with my brother. Kenneth, if you're listening, Kenneth is my brother. <laughs> Kenneth, buy a drift car, we'll be out. We can make but, this happen. But yeah, Ethan's thinking about getting a drift car and we're we're pondering ideas right now since two forties are a lot of money. So This Ethan? Yeah. After I ask you, have you ever drifted? You're not going to tell me I'm actually <laughs> thinking about getting into drifting. Well, he wants to. Dude. He's trying to keep it on the down low <laughs> since Frankie blew up my spot. Well, we're not going to mention any potential cars, but... Yeah, so... What? That's bullshit. Tell there, me. There's one that we're Give us of. one. Give us a little, a little, little smidge. M3. Stop. What? Shut yeah, up. Right. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. No. Are you? I'm all Maybe. for it. No. Do it up. That ain't it. What kind of M3? Like that ain't it, cuz. Toyota Corolla, super windy. <laughs> super windy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Carl, what happened? You got a new car. I did. I, I, got, a, I got a daily. I uh, had to, unfortunately, get rid of the truck. I, I needed a car to get to work. I commute. I'd go to the office. And uh, I picked up a Toyota Celica 1997. I don't know jack shit about Celicas at all. <laughs> like, I bought this thing. He popped the hood. It looked great. But in my opinion, it was nice because I was just using my general automotive knowledge. Like, I'm not looking at it as a toy. It's an automatic, no rust whatsoever. It needed a valve cover gasket. And it's meant. It gets 33 miles per gallon. You know? It's miles per miles, Carl. It's miles per mile. Yeah, how many miles are on it? 279,000. God She's damn. Baby. She's a baby. She's a baby. I knew you were going to say another so. 200. How's that back yeah, seat doing? At least the back seat. Thank you. Why? Frankie's obsessed. 10. Ever since I told Frankie, no one's ever sat in the back seat. He's been obsessed with it. He's like, I'm going to sit in it. I'm sitting I'm in that back seat. I'm going to rub my ass in it. Let's pause the podcast and go sit in it. I'm doing more than sitting in that back seat. No, right? you're not. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez, this guy's so cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I bought a, I bought a daily. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool if you're into front wheel drive. I wasn't even looking for it. It fit all the criteria, though. I love Toyota. I'm on a Toyota thing. It's automatic? It's automatic as fuck. Great okay. cars. Great car. Ethan was the nicest person to me about it. I was like, Ethan, come look at it. I'm like, I, I told Frankie, Frankie, come look at it. And he's like, fuck is this? I'm like, no I have all no, track, no, no business. Yeah, I have no interest in that car. It's automatic. It's a cool car. It's, yeah, it's fine, but you, you buy way too many cars. Hey, so. for a thousand bucks, you can't thousand go wrong buckaroos. In this, this market. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. You know, you can't even do a lot of things with a thousand dollars anymore. How many, how many McDoubles you can't, you could... <laughs> In this market. In this market. Hold on a minute. We're not going to talk about Come that. Come on, man. Just put that away. <laughs> Come on, man. I got hairy legs. <laughs> no, gonna you get, don't. We're going to get into politics right now? You don't have hairy legs. No. I do have hairy legs. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, I just never I see do. the sun. So what's up? What are we doing tomorrow, Carl? Tomorrow we are going to 
Nissan Day, right? Nissan yeah, day? Nissan Day. I'm going to drive town. my Toyota to Nissan Day just like a good person should. The superior brand in every way, shape, and form. What's going on there tomorrow? Nissan Day is pretty dope. It's uh, Nissan and Infinity Day. That's you know they, they do that both in one. They're, they're, they're all Nissan's the V all the VQs all will be the VQs. There. Yep. All the all day baby. All day. You gotta trumpet, go. Trumpet you gotta go. Yep. It's literally like a an orchestra rolls it's an in. Orchestra. <laughs> like, ah. They have like a whole. I remember there's a corner that's just for VQ cars or some Send shit. Your noise this Isn't way. that pretty much all Nissans? And nowadays, unfortunately, it's yeah. like Altima's. Other than. There's usually some good GT. There's cars. drifting. There's Unfortunately, drifting. for the most part, Infinity makes the better car now. Right now, until Absolutely. the Z comes out. Nissan is a bargain basement company these days, and it pains me to say that. Yeah. That uh, VR30 they made is is great. That drivetrain in the new Z, I, I love that. It's a twin turbo V6. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Well, other than the it's turbos been good. blowing it's, up, it's been in other cars. Those uh, what what are that? What is that sedan they got? Is that a Q? Q? Q the red. Red? That's an Infinity, though. Yeah, it's an Infinity. All I know is we have a friend who works on Infinity, and he replaces a lot of turbos on those engines. Really? A lot of them. Wow. Yeah. So, I don't know. It could just be a dealership thing, but... Well, I know how to fix that. You just put a fucking SR20 in. Yeah, you put a Garrett on there, and that's it. Call it a day, bro. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I like I like that uh, drivetrain. It's... No, they're definitely nice. I... That HR you were driving the other day is a VQ, and let me tell you, that thing sounded great. I wouldn't say great, but it did sound okay. At the high rev, it, it was. It's an HR, it's so it's. it's, it's, it's well, he has like a strength. stock muffler or something, so it's like not bad. Or it's Nvidia. not a stock muffler, but uh, there is a muffler. That's the important yeah. thing. It keeps the trunk. It's yeah, it's check. dude. It's not even bad. It's, it's not like, offensive at all. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's but I still not would, offensive. I still wouldn't say it's good though. What? Do you think I should shut the compressor off? Put the, put the headphones on. Just see if you can hear it. Are you kidding me? You're going to ask me this live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Just see if oh, you can hear it. We do work here. Let us, yeah, let, yeah. Let this, us know, this is an actual uh, let us know working shop. Let casual shop. podcasts. I, Frankie, just, you know, you never know how, what kind of mood he's going to be in. You just got to <laughs> give him a Snickers from time to time, and then he's happy. Yeah, I don't know. I just, The podcast idea was all about just being able to whip the mics out and do whenever we want. I so love whipping it out. out. Yeah. You, you whip the mics out? Whip them out. You whip them out. You, you can't hear the me with it. by the way. Good. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to take this moment right here to thank our listeners right now. Yeah, if they're actually listening to this, they yeah, want to hear this us. Is, That's this crazy. A, this, one's, this one is going to show us who who's really listening because we're not talking about <laughs> shit right now. Yeah, this is literally just, <laughs> we're just going Ethan's episode. <laughs> this is <laughs> Ethan's <laughs> episode. Right. We're going to call it Ethan's episode. If you like Ethan... You know, for those people out there who like Ethan, leave a comment. You know, Ethan's cool. Don't but leave comments. There's like two of them. Let Ethan know what what you're thinking. No, what what should they if they made it this far? What should if they? If they made it this far, you should comment. Uh, Ethan's rotas. <laughs> I love rotas. Uh, all right. So where did we leave off with the Ethan story? With the with the Ethan story. Well, uh, you first time you went to E Town. We went to the cool event D One GP. Yeah, that's at awesome. E-Town. Right? That's just fucking cool. Let's just put a cap on that. Fucking so I guess awesome. that was that was yeah, because I had my first car was an STI saved up. Yeah, for a you long had time. a Subaru as well, and that I was an when STI. they were like I was, nice uh, and new. I was really into like rally racing and wow, Frankie like, too. He boogie said he and was, boogieing yeah. around Ooh. mountain roads because we got a lot of those around us. Um, yeah. So I saved up, started working in a garage when I was 13, and from then on I saved up until I could afford a car, and I blew it all what, on an what color STI. STI. What color what, what type? What generation STI and what color? It was a 2005 silver STI. Blah by. Blah by? Yeah. That's what you had? Yeah. Wow, look at that. You guys are butt brothers in that Mine was too. gray, but it was basically the same car. Almost the same color. This color is so exist. I wrecked mine at like oh, yeah. 100 miles an hour. You <laughs> wrecked it personally? <laughs> yep. Might as well talk about it. <laughs> I was booking around hear this. the nice, nice wide exit ramp in like uh -huh. January. This sounds irresponsible. It was pretty irresponsible. Uh, I was booking around an exit ramp. It was a nice sweeper, and down at the bottom, it turned out to be all wet, and my car just let go. Couldn't hang on, and I took out. Like, Understeered. It just let go, let go of the road. I just took complete. out like 50, 50 feet of guardrail, <laughs> cracked three ribs. Oh Holy my God, fuck, dude! dude. Crap, no more of that. Ribs. Keep it on the track. Didn't you hear that girl in Need for Speed Underground too? Keep it on the track. Get the hell out of here. 
And, yeah, street uh, drifting is cool as fuck. <laughs> and after I wrecked that, I ended up making some money more than I paid for the car. And oh, wow. I used the proceeds aside from paying for 50 feet of guardrail and my insurance. Uh, I bought a 240. Mm, it was the one done. you have now? No, it was actually my first 240, my first foray into 240s. Uh, I bought it from this guy, Brandon, who was like an original Drift Alliance guy. Um, I drove that around for a while. Okay. Uh, had some fun with it. And then I traded that for a GC8 with a EJ20G swap that Ooh. had an RA transmission in it. Wow. You got photos g- of that car? No, I have nothing from that car, surprisingly. Wow. What color was that? White? It was blue. Ooh. World Rally Blue. So you had a 22B? <laughs> well. Jank one, sure. Pretty much. <laughs> a rep. A rep. Just like your wheels. And then, then I had some issues with the motor, so I ended up selling that. And I found my current chassis in Queens for four grand with an SR in it, a Power FC, DJetro in the box. And other than that, it was completely stock. Took it home four grand, and that's the car I still have today. What was wrong with the Subaru engine that you got rid of it? I think it was something with a, like a fuel controller or something. Those, it, the it would, wiring it's funny that you somebody, say that because we some, had a car here that had a problem with the fuel control. Because somebody had wired up the JDM motor to it. And when I was working at Slideways, we had another car that we did a swap and it had like a similar problem. And I think somebody had messed up the wiring and it just wasn't running right. And I couldn't figure it out because I'm no wiring wizard. So you said bye. Yeah, so I said bye. I sold it for like 3500 bucks and. What year was that? 96. No, what year was it that you sold it? Oh. <laughs> I was about to be like, get the hell out of here. You were not I alive. think sometime I I got the sometime around when you had your first black hatch. Two, 2012. So yeah, I probably mm-hmm. sold it around like late 2011, early 2012. Then I didn't I, see that car though, right? No. Then I picked up the 240 from this guy in Queens. Yeah, because you had that 240 when I when I met you. That thing was ridiculous when I picked it up. He had some, like, giant, like, 60-1 turbo on some top-mount manifold, and it didn't fit under the hood, so he just cut a hole in the hood, and <laughs> half the compressor was sticking out of the hood. That's funny. Oh, now you want that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it? Ethan brought me candy, and I'm going to eat it now. Okay. You, you do that, Carl. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So I drove it around for a while, blew up a couple turbos. A couple? Then, yeah, a couple T25. Tell them the story about uh, something fell off your car. I don't know what it The intercooler. The intercooler. The intercooler. <laughs> I fell thought you were talking about the uh, when it caught on fire, but. No, we'll, no. We'll hear that later. <clears throat> but tell us about the intercooler falling off. So the nice thing about DJetro is when you have a boost leak and you're just driving normally, you can't really tell anything's wrong. It's got so, a map sensor. So, so I uh, didn't have a stereo in it at the time, and I had uh, headphones on, and I was driving around, <laughs> and I kept thinking I was hearing something like scraping. So I was coming around a bend, <laughs> and I pull the, the ear pod out, and I hear... <laughs> And I'm like, oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> so I go to pull into this pizza place, and I didn't realize their driveway had, like, a steep 45-degree incline. So I pull in at, like, 15 miles an hour, and I, my intercooler is dragging. So I hit it, and I guess the intercooler got, like, wedged under the car, and I just remember hearing a loud bang looking at the sky and then coming back down <laughs> into the parking lot. And, uh, yeah, then I had to get towed home. So the intercooler was Because you ran over the intercooler. Yeah. It, like, dented my uh, my front cross member and everything. And that's the current car you have. Yeah. What was the, the intercooler car. made out of? Fucking. It picked up the car. <laughs> Dude, what kind of fucking intercooler made is out that? of kryptonite? That's that eBay special intercooler that Frankie yeah. always talks about. Yeah. They're beefy. Literally. Can jack your car into the sky. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can use them <laughs> as jack stands. So when did you decide, like, oh, okay, I'm going to rebuild this car and stop driving it? Because... You'd, that hat forever. You'll probably never see my car. He drove it for a little bit. I've seen it in the light. Well, he he spent years building it, but it did run. It's it, just really on and off build process. You lose motivation, get some. Yeah. You lose it. Where but you, you did it you did finish it, and it was running. And then you ran into more problems, so now the motor's out again. What problems are with it now? I 
think the machine shop messed up and something wasn't right because it was just constantly smoking. It wasn't the turbo or anything. Ooh. Um, I bought the motor. It was already at the machine shop. It was my boss's. I guess he had them bore it like 20 over. <laughs> and I have a feeling they didn't use a torque plate. So if I had to take a guess, I'd probably say the bores aren't concentric. So the block is fucked. Yeah, it might need to be bored out a little more. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Just bore it out a little more, right? I mean, worst case scenario, I got a couple more SRs on deck, so. Hey, I mean, you know the trend right now. 2.2. Yeah, look, look, look at what Frank. I don't want to be a out. tire biter, Frank. <laughs> tire biter? Yeah, like Josh, stealing my 2.2 liter. Is he also Shots doing fired. a... Uh... I think he's going to build a spare motor, or he's going to start building another one, and he's going to do a stroker kit. So. I actually don't really know Josh that well, but... Speaking of Josh, I need to go pick up that free girdle he offered me. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, who needed... Well, he I was like, who that. needs this? It was clean, I was like, too. I, I saw that. it. I was like, I was gonna, I'm, I'm just going to grab that. I don't know. It looked know. clean. Like, it, was, it looked great. Not since, like the sludgy one Brandon you showed on his story today. One. Did you see the, the sludgy one that Frankie had? Yeah, I was had? checking the motor out That was before. disgusting. Yeah, we took an SR apart, GTIR engine yesterday. Oh, my God. It looked like it never had an oil change in its life. You know I spent all day doing that? I could imagine. Well, we started at about 10 or 11. All of a sudden, we were like, wait, why don't we just live stream this? We didn't I saw live you guys streaming. go live while I was riding a totaled car. And yeah, I was, like, I was at my desk. I was like, "Damn it!" I was like, "Oh, I should do this, but I should probably work." Yeah, yeah. People were just watching it and leaving it on at work. So, damn it, I should have did that too. And we were just like talk. I was talking to them a couple times, but we stripped the whole engine down and realized it had sludge in it midway through. Well, you're 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 doing the faction treatment. You're gonna. What do you mean midway through? Because some of those rocker arms I'll, I'll, are like I'll the tell you how. craziest things I've ever seen. That one's almost worn all the way through. Yeah, we have to do a video on that, actually. That's like, yeah. Look out for that on the on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Faction Motorsports Oof. YouTube channel. Always change your oil, kids. Yeah, so, well, it started, it started because I was like, oh, this engine still has oil in it. So I took the turbo <laughs> off, and then I was like, I gotta drain this. So I took. I loosen the bolt. I put the bucket underneath. I loosen it. I, I move. Nothing. Nothing comes out. I'm like, wait, what? And then it just, a slop just comes down. <laughs> oh. And, then, and it's like just dripping so thick. And I'm like, oh my God. And Chris is just looking at me like, I hate my life. Oh. He's like, we should probably just stop now. Oh, but, I know Chris. I know the face Chris makes. Okay, but get this. So take it all apart, which was not fun because. I have to wipe my hands after yeah, every single time I touch something. Yeah, taking apart a dirty motor sucks. So, and I use 10 cans of brake clean, and it's not even clean yet. Oh my god, that's, that's like 50 bucks. That is a lot of money. Um, so, so I would in my head, I would, I was like, maybe I should stop because we probably can't use this. the The customer wants to do a 2.2 again, stroker kit. I'm telling you, this is the new that's, hotness that's, right now. This is which for which car? This Sounds is for a like GTIR. I'm this is for an actual Pulsar? Yeah. Awesome. So he already has a stroker kit and everything. Um, oh, okay. What brand? I don't know. You might know. It's not Japanese. Brian Crower? I don't think it is either. It's some other one. It might be some GTIR company. GSC? Power no. Division? They make some sweet stuff. For they do. Yeah. Anyway, I start taking the head apart, and I notice right away, I put it at top dead center just because I do that every time when I'm taking it apart. And I noticed the cam lobe on the intake side is, they're supposed to be round. This one comes to a point. Um, it's like, it's a, it's a point. It's like, it's like a hexagon. What's the, how <laughs> the camshaft that, lobe is a hexagon. How does that happen? You never changed your oil is how that happens. You just wore it down that much? Yeah. Well, it's it was, metal on metal I mean, contact. It was so gunky. There probably wasn't a lot of oil flowing through the but, Okay, but here, get this. So what do you... Okay. So I see that. I'm like, okay. I take the cam out. And I can move the, I can move the rockers while they're in the... I'm just like moving them around. I'm like, this doesn't seem right. I, this is before I realized they had solid lifters or whatever. Um, so I take those out. I... Then I take the rockers out. The rockers are completely destroyed. They 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 have a shape that's like rounded up yeah. a little bit. These were convex. These are the rocker arms we were talking about on the prior episode. That yeah, I mean it's an SR twenty, so like yeah that. So they're this they're completely just not changing oil. It's got to be yeah. So they're completely destroyed. So at this point, I'm like, okay, so these journals are going to be trashed, obviously. Yeah. If all of this is bad. 
So I take the cams out. I I didn't like completely inspect everything because it's covered, but I, I cleaned a couple of journals and I was like, these journals look completely fine. Yeah, like, I took a quick look and everything somehow seems to be unaffected. You know, all I, I care about had, like a film of sludge on it that just kept. I don't it. know, could no, because it does it gets weird. I, I have a feeling the does the head have the uh, the drip squirters for the cams? Yeah, the regular ones. So, that one was so that was working. So that's no, so that's probably what's why clogged. The rocker oh, you're saying that bail? toast because it's not dripping oil on. Yeah, them. but how yeah, is that's oil a getting? SR thing. I cleaned those out actually. Or always Chris, clean them out. Yeah, yeah every, every, time. every time. But how is that little so oil. So if it's not uh, dripping oil onto the cam lobe. Let me continue just, the story because I got Everyone's got to realize the next part. Well, hold on, I'm going to share this tip really quick here we to go. our SR owners out here who are listening. They already heard you. Clean yeah. your cam squirters. There, yeah, but it's this little thing that's that's right over the cam. It's a little hard line. Or buy little, new ones because we have them on the website. Do you check them out at factionmotorsports.com if they if, in they, stock. if they got them? You got them in stock. Always check them out. But they they have these little holes that get clogged, and that's like number so easy to look over yeah that it causes premature fail like your cams get hot spots like crazy because then if your cams especially are just, if you have sludge in your motor oh yeah so but at this point always, yeah so at this point i'm like okay so only thing that i need to make sure of now is it looks like the cam journals are good so now the only thing that matters is the main journals because he's going to get a new crankshaft the bottom and, end yeah so i'm okay. like as long as the main journals are good then I guess we can use this motor if it can get cleaned okay. completely. Um, it's going to JP, so I'm assuming it's going to get a full treatment. But uh, so I just flip it around, start taking the bottom end apart, drop the drop the pistons out, take the girdle off, check the mains, and the mains look like they're okay. So it's just a cam. Oh, here's the other part. Okay. I take the oil pickup off. The tube and the pan. Yeah, the oil pickup is caked. With either, I guess, sludge, rocks, or metal. Or all of it. Or both. To the oh, point where it's... All of the above. <laughs> it's caked in there so much that I'm digging it out. Ah. So how the hell could there be oil? You could order a motor? new pickup to like faction motorsports. A straw. Dude, it's so bad though. Like I'm telling you, like I didn't even get it all out. I was sitting or there for like... they shut it off at the right time and didn't... That hypothesis... Anymore, I don't know. I don't know. That, man. that hypothesis. Or okay, I how had about this? The film. I'm telling you. Never changed the oil. Ran it. Do you think maybe it sitting for a extended amount of time could have done that to the oil in the pan? And like, meaning I mean, possibly, but after looking at all the components, from yeah, the obviously, head, like obviously there was a problem for quite a while to wear through a rocker arm like that. Yeah. There's no indication of it mixing anything, right? I haven't even talked to the customer yet. I'm gonna email no. him on Monday. With your there's, sludge. there's no yeah, uh, exactly. there's no indication of anything mixing that would make it no, no, into no, that no. kind of consistency because it literally looks like pudding. No, it's that's what happens. It's it's sludge. That's sludge. Sheesh. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's all right as long as the aluminum's not scored. Yeah, it looked like it was okay. So I guess yeah. we're gonna take it to JP and he's gonna do his magic on it, and I think we're gonna swap it into the car. So, I love pulsars, man. The owner of this car, he has a shop in Clifton, but it's a German shop, and he's like, I don't have the time for this. So <laughs> he's like, I found out about you guys. I'm just gonna give give it to you. And I was like, Well, all we work on is SR20, so that's awesome. He knows what he knows. He knows what's up. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun, and that was the live stream, and the live stream went well. We got like 35 to 40 watch time hours from that live stream. Jeez. On YouTube. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support. We always appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for for everyone hanging out in there talking to me because it was, it was fun. It kept me entertained for the day. This little project of this podcast is like the one thing Frankie ever let me do ever. So <laughs> I'm really fucking grateful to you listeners, okay? Because he keeps letting me come here, and he fucking hates me. So like, it's great. Well, you said you were gonna stick with it, so we'll see. We've been on it. This is episode five now. All right, let's get back to it. Where uh, where we leave off? All right, you got your 240. You put it together. You ran it fast. Oh yeah, how yeah. fast was that car? Fast as fuck. If, if he's your your he's car before you turns. just took it apart, tell him how fast it was. Scary fast. <laughs> yeah, Ethan was. I can't hook like well into fourth. Something. Fourth. <laughs> spinning gear, spinning tires, and fourth gear. Well, I just recently took my motor apart, or at least started to. Turns out the last time I uh, took a rip in it, I spit a rocker arm off. 
Yeah. And disintegrated a, a valve guide. The keeper one. I could only find half of it. The rest of it just like shattered. So full did you motor have, tear down. Did you have yeah. rocker arm stoppers on it? No. Thank okay. God. I'm surprised it didn't fly off. It was just like laying off to the side. Oh, so it was off. Oh, yeah. You okay. were probably doing a huge McPolsky and that thing <laughs> flew around in there. You hooligan. again? Wait, so the car was running okay? <clears throat> It was all right. I don't know. I think the harness is junk. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, the rocker arm was thrown. Oh, it sounded like it was misfiring okay. or had, like, an extreme boost leak. And, and you couldn't like, figure it out. none of this. So but you got it home. Else has to, yeah. Okay. Drive it home at all costs. <laughs> I mean, the valves are shut. Not so like so that cylinder's just dead, it, pretty much. Yeah, it can't tell anything. Yeah. It's no power. Get the Sequoia. Sequoia for life. <laughs> Not for me. I miss it. I miss it yeah, already. I mean, before, before this... I guess within the first two or three years, I just slapped a GT3071 on it. And I would take it out and have fun on the West Side Highway like late at night and just try and race people with expensive cars and burn their doors off. This was before? Before the This is what you're doing? Before the rebuild. Yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to do that with the STI also. I used to go into Queens. I was part of Subaru Queens crew back in the day a little bit. Subaru Queens crew. Why does that sound? Yeah, they were... Fucking one gone runners. Yeah, just go You're across, the people that I hear when I'm the, hanging the out the frog in Frog Snack or the White Stone like in West New York. You can just hear. <laughs> you're hearing people from West New York. You're like, dang, that's, that car is flying. That's yeah, I you. Used to, I used to rip around the highways at rather fast speeds. Well, Ethan was always trying to hit. He was always trying to get into that 200 mile an hour club. Yeah, that's what I initially. Have you hit thought. it on a bike? No, fastest I've gone on a bike was 155. That's as fast as I've gone in a car. That's the fastest I've gone on a bike. I think I topped out my 240 back in the day. What's the fastest you've gone in your 240? Know. Let's hear it right now. Let him talk. Sorry. I don't know. I'm my, speed, hear my speedometer only goes up to 110, but I was going way faster <laughs> than 110. I, I, I clearly remember when I... It was probably like 160 if I had to take a guess, maybe. I've taken I mine to 140. Into an exit. How do you know you took a 240 to 140? Dude, I'm telling you... What are you using, a GPS? No, like, you know how the increments... The seat meter. The increments, that shit almost lit on fire. My brother and I were in the car. Dude, when I took my 240, I know I was on 208, oh, and I was with Miyagi, uh-huh. and he was he was already flying in the RX-8, and I was like, all right, I guess we're doing this. And I'm going, the whole thing's fucking rattling and shit, <laughs> and, and, and the Speedo is past... The Speedo is making another circle, and I'm like... I've never, I've never seen oh, this. Bust it, yeah, busted off the stopper. No, it's like getting to the stopper. Yeah, I've like gone, I don't or know the where mileage. That is. Yeah, the and I'm like, and all I'm thinking to myself is I should not be doing this in this car right now. It is not set up for this. You're like five, six degrees of camber in the front. But, but the thing is, is you're already in it, so you're just like, fuck it. Yeah, no, we, I, I mean, we we went until we couldn't go. There was a turn, and then we slowed down. That was it. And yep. I was like, well, I'm probably not doing that again. But I that remember. was fun, dude. So. I don't know if anybody else had this problem with an SR20 before or knows what the cause is, but I was getting excessive pressure buildup that would blow the dipstick to the yeah, it's dipstick. A, it's a up. common problem. I had yeah, a. I it's usually just blow by. <laughs> eventually, I made like a little pressurizing your crankcase. I mean, eventually, I would just zip tie it like down. Yeah. But uh, on this day, it was like 98 degrees out, and like I don't know what this is so dumb because it was like a Ford Focus blew by me. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, God. This guy thinks he's fast. He thinks he's I'm gonna fast. I'm going to show him what a hundred fucking ponies looks like. You <laughs> and, I, and the Speedo went all the way around, all the way around. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I let off. And then Kenneth, my brother, goes, it smells like fire. And I'm like, nah, oh, nah, nah. No. I, I, I swear to you, if you ever see him, he goes, I tell him, yo, give it a second. It'll it'll go away. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> And then he's then he's like, it's getting worse. And I'm like, nah, it's fine, it's fine. Eventually, the whole cabin fills with smoke. There's an, a, a complete excess of smoke everywhere coming out. Yeah. And I had a fire extinguisher in the car, so I unhooked the fire extinguisher. You're never supposed to just fling the hood open. So I tell I, I tell him to get out. I get out. I, I look at the flames are like coming from on in on the engine. Yeah. And it was like on the downpipe. It's that oil. Yeah, it's that so oil. It's the line. oil that's blowing out. So I, we've all I, all of our cars have lit on fire at some point. I open up the the hood slowly. I look at it. It burns off. I just wait like twenty minutes. I drive it home out of boost. 
It was the the, the dipstick. It was the, oh, it just shot the just oil out. Shooting oil all yeah, out. Hot, hot oil. Is, hot uh, oil, no go. Yeah, I had that happen. And at that speed, it's probably blowing it out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, make sure you zip tie those dipsticks shut. They make never, springs. Never want any oil, hot oil around any exhaust components. Oh, yeah. oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, terrible. Are you sure? <laughs> Positive. I saw an option video once that they said that was good. Are you sure? Experience. Yep. Yeah, we still never did that video we were gonna do. Which one? Once upon a time, we were gonna do a option style video oh, with the, Ethan. The, the, uh, we we're gonna try to hit some top speeds. Yeah. Yeah. That's what? still gotta happen. Get out of here! No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, maybe in your drag build. No, actually, yeah. When my car's done, we should do that too. Do a little machine check. I seen a cool YouTube video once. I'm gonna shout. Uh, uh, uh auto realize, realize, auto factory, realize. factory realize. Yeah. I love their videos, cool man. They're I funny love, as hell. I love those dudes. Um, super funny videos. I still watch them from time to time. I think they're on a hiatus or something right now. I've been following them um, since. Way back. In yeah, the day like Teddy. Had, yeah, yeah. yeah. Teddy had, uh, Teddy's car is just 13. always broke. Yeah. Teddy's car is my favorite Skyline they got some really in the country, cool cars. I would say. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's definitely my favorite. One of my favorite drift cars in all, the country. You know Jay's car, the S13, when yeah. they redid it? Yeah. That, that video was awesome. Yeah. They did like a cool little like mini machine check and like. Like, I, I got I know I'm probably saw it but I gotta I gotta I love that video man but uh, yeah, yeah you both those cars are you should awesome. do something cool uh, we're gonna with, do like uh, driver profile st- type stuff I'm, I don't think I'm gonna call it a machine check because you it's kind never of, let me get on these kind you of know, things. you're t- telling me all these cool ideas and you never put dude me I have a list of ideas I'm not on there yes yeah. <laughs> okay Carl so mean to me I have an is 300 doesn't want to include the is 300 it's all right I got, I got another question for Ethan yeah me too go what could you tell um, a young car enthusiast that wants to wants to get into fabricating stuff? And you know, what, what's some good first advice tips? You know, what should he get? Which what welder should he get? Where should he start? You know, he doesn't want to go to school. He just wants to be able to fix stuff. Does on he his need car. like expensive stuff I mean, on the back? Somebody, no, you don't. You really don't. Um, thankfully, as technology has evolved, there's a lot of companies uh, from overseas that make pretty decent welders and have good service and warranty what um i mean i'm a diehard miller guy but i do also have an everlast tig welder from several years ago and it really hasn't let me down and from what i hear they really haven't yeah you just you they're, had they're pretty good i mean in all honesty they got a good price point but i mean the first thing is definitely do your homework read the i mean the internet is your friend there's tons of resources out there. You can watch people's videos. There's lots of guys on YouTube that have great information, really teach you how to weld. And what about? I mean, you don't really need anything crazy. Definitely don't cheap out on the safety products, like a good mask, gloves. Okay. Um, That's a good tip right there. Are there any specific YouTube people you know of? I mean, there's a... I don't really know too many by name. And yeah. I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but... I mean, I know there's lots of guys out there that break it down step by step. This is what I should have did and when it, I was younger. It too. really comes down to like watching that stuff, reading, trying to comprehend what's going on with different metals and welding processes. And the prep. It's not just like slap oh, the metal together. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, That's Ethan's key is the prep. Yeah, clearly. I mean, he won't even work on anything unless people it's... People will tell you it's like 75% prep, making sure everything's clean. Yeah. Granted, when you're fixing rust and stuff, things don't always work out that way. But um, yeah. yeah, prep. It's like and painting. One of these days, we should have a little. Welding Ethan should wel- welding sesh, and a weld off between I mean, me and I'm, Frankie. I'm I don't not know a, anything I mean, about welding, dude. I'm not against it. doing a, uh, what do you call it? Some kind of a little mini course. I'm nobody to teach. Well, if you keep it's coming down here guy. and working every week, and you'll be the good. Weld off, <laughs> the weld off idea. Weld off. He's gonna beat all this. But yeah, back to getting no, into no, welding. No, no, for us. Yeah, yeah. Just practice, practice, practice. Yeah, you got to keep practicing. You can't Try stop. And learn as much as you can from online because there's tons of great resources. Don't mind the haters, people that give you a hard time. Oh yeah, what's up with that? What's up with welding know. and like the there's nice bead, dude? Nice bead. Those aren't even dimes. You, you gotta stack them. I mean, because there's sick welders out there and people see what like 
the top like one percent of welders can do and but then they get they get shut down and they get nervous right and they don't want to do it because they see those comments those are boogers no, dude booger wilds i mean i drop pigeon shit sometimes it pigeon shit <laughs> yeah it happens i mean there's that's why you got a grinder <laughs> <laughs> it's like the back end of a pencil yeah like obviously you want it to look good guys but. do it for a living they do it five six days a week every day and then they go back and then they go home and they practice yeah. and or they go home and then they work on their car. And it's like, well, you, you've you been doing this all day, so no no wonder you're, you're perfect at it. Yeah, I'm sure I could be a lot better if I did it all the time, but I have a real job that takes up massive yeah. amount of my time. Not that welding isn't a real job. It's just like no, occupation. Yeah. Well, that's what good. you were going to do. Mm, were you ever going to do a welding job? Or I you mean, were... I did work at a yeah, you welding did. shop. I ran a water jet for a while. And but you didn't, you didn't go to school for of, it. No. I actually yeah. did go to school for two weeks to get certified, and I ended up, like, the teachers figured out that I was, like, decent at welding, and they just, like, somehow ended up convincing me to teach the unruly kids in this, like, high school S class how to weld, so I would, like, break it down for them. Like, they didn't <laughs> want to listen to the teachers, but they just Ethan's a cool to some guy. other person, some other kid that's going to school. Did you drop out? No. I just went. I was going to get certified, and then I just, like didn't bother i didn't want to spend the 500 bucks for like a pipe welding certification yeah i should have got it back then yeah i probably just should have got it anyway right i probably could again but yeah i run an auto body shop now i don't have any time to that's sick but that's one of my things where it's like i i like to just get things to get them like i feel like that would be easy for you that's like me with tools and stuff like most of the stuff that i do or know how to do is not for anyone else it's more out of a necessity yeah to be able to do it myself and not have to pay somebody. Yes, that's why I was saying I should have learned how to do this when I was younger. So he doesn't have to pay me because he's cheap. Yes, <laughs> I don't have to call Ethan every why. single time. That's the only reason why Frankie wishes he welds. Well, and it's annoying having to rely on someone. That's the only like, reason oh, I can't why do this because I got to wait. Highly unreliable. <laughs> you don't, you don't see my car here either, just because like I'd rather, I'd rather just learn it. I've yeah. been waiting to have faction work on my car for like the last six years. Okay. I don't All have right. the bankroll to drop it off here. Waiting for that faction credit. Yeah, give me some faction credit. <laughs> Dude, no 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 employee discount, the podcast members. I don't get, it. I don't get any. You get discounts, just Carl. Chopped liver. Do you know what the economy is like right now? It's Putin's fault. <laughs> you know what you know what you flagged. Know, you know what they should support though? They they should support that raffle you got going on right now. Oh, yeah. Can we talk about this if raffle? If you haven't gotten in on this oh, raffle, let's, yeah, there let's is get not into this. Excluding shipping and taxes. Yes. It, we're, read the fine print. No, but... This is, this is like, not a lot of entries. Let me on give here. you, let me give you the figures we're looking at right now. Figures. For, Frankie's first of all, give us statistics. First of all, this is what the raffle is. If you buy any product on our website, every single dollar you spend is an entry to win a set of S13 coilovers. By stance XR ones. You hurry up and buy seventeen hundred dollar. Okay, much? so that's that's how it is. Yeah, they're worth eighteen hundred dollars. Eighteen hundred. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's look at the orders we have this month so far. I have eight orders. Pump those numbers up, people. It is the, what is it? The sixth. It's the sixth of August, and only eight orders. Don't if you pump guys, them up. You if you guys order, coilovers. if you guys order a sticker right now, you have a pretty good chance. I'm just saying. So. And if you order, if you actually need parts and you order something like, you know, a radiator, you got a lot more parts. I just I mean, a lot more points. Kit. What's wrong with me? Yeah. So now would be the time. If you're thinking about buying something, I mean, we got cams. We got everything. Watch that video we posted. I go through a bunch of stuff we have in stock. That's so. awesome. Yeah. Or if you want to get a body kit and pre-order it, now would be the time because that you're probably just going to win based on that. There's one, I think there's one body kit order so far. So he's, he's got a good chance right now. But take down that body kit guy. I hope he's got an S13. Um, I don't know what he has, but <clears throat> yeah, it's. I, I'm just saying, like, someone's gonna win these coilovers, and it's gonna be someone that bought a sticker. Like, that'd be awesome. And even if they don't have an S13, they could sell them. And I will, I w- if if you're listening to this right now and you do win, and you don't have an S13, just contact me and I'll see if we can get another set or something. I don't think we're gonna be able to because they're usually not in stock, but. If I can make it happen, I will. We'll get a different set of stance coils. Wow, that oil filter over there is looking pretty great. Yep, exactly. Oil filters. Guys, you could just buy an oil filter. We sell oil, too. Heck That's yeah. it. 
So Where's that drift button thing? That's the only thing here that I really, really want. <laughs> we got drift buttons. Let's look at the little baron on the wall. Because yeah, you guys people are going been, to Nissan people Day. People are going to yeah. Nissan Day, so it's pretty empty. But check us out at Nissan Day. What else we got going on? Um, well, let's try to get another. Let's get. What is that event? Is it called Weck Fest or Week, week Fest? Fest? Come on, dude. Okay, Week, week Fest. Fest. Are you That's guys going to be at Week yes, Fest? Yes, we are going to Week really? Fest for the wow. first time. I don't know if you if you've been there. Never. I know your car's been in there before. No. Really? The My, mini should have been there. No, I never put the Chevy in there. We're bringing, uh, <laughs> I think we're bringing the Cressida and AJ's car, I guess. Hell Chevy yeah, dude. It. That those cars are top notch. We might bring other cars too. I gotta see. Chris's car is always, always gets in. Yeah. Take Noah's car. Yeah, we should. Ooh. We didn't get into that yet. Well, that'll be for another episode. Another episode because we've been here for about an hour and ten. So instead of dragging, it's only been an along, hour. I feel yeah. like it's been so long. It's been an hour and ten. I thought it was like a half. I feel like it's been three hours. Time flies when we're having fun. Here, people. Me and Ethan are having fun. So this is the first episode with Ethan, but he'll be back. Yeah. He's a regular here. This is also so. one of the first episodes where we're just kind of casual. We don't really don't have any agenda. Yeah, tell us if you enjoy this tell more like or this less. more or less or... Got to sprinkle in a little casual. A little casual? I would much okay. rather do these conversations than, these. than talk about... This is what I want from you, Frankie. What did we talk about last time? Obscure drift cars? Yeah, I'd right, rather that, eat... That I, shit made Frankie so mad. I'd rather eat glass and talk I about that. I love obscure drift car builds, dude. Like, you know? Come yeah. on. I'm trying to think of obscure like a... Yeah, which one like do how you... How often do you see a RA20 Celica or something? I don't know if that's a Celica. But Hopefully old, never. Old, 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 old Celica. <laughs> like well, she, what uh, would you drive, Ethan? Yeah, what obscure? would you drive? Obscure. obscure. Not pick, pick your obscure drift car. Not an FRS. You're gonna have to come back to me. I'm gonna try. See, and no, like right the now. Most random. Right See, now, he doesn't know because he's like me. He doesn't. He's like, ah, he's I would want a Volvo, yeah, rear-wheel dude. drive car. I would give you that. Yeah, Volvo with that single cam oh, motor. Shit. That makes, yeah, I lost man. Him. What is that? The red uh, block. Yeah, dude. Those those guys up in the. Uh, yeah, that's what, what he that, was. Like th- Sweden, Finland. Yeah, that's what they were talking about. Nuke performance. Yeah, Frankie's like, oh, they don't like Volvos. Obscure drift car, one ninety e diesel wagon. Bro, yeah, that's, at that Evergreen event, there's a guy drifting a Benz that's a diesel, man. It's so fucking sick. insane. Just well, rolling coal on track. Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> and he had his tow rig was a diesel Benz, too. I was like, oh, what the so fuck? That's cool. Yeah. That guy's balling. Thing was, there's a hill going, leaving there. All you hear is it's spooling. Like, Imagine getting a Unimog to tow your... A who? Unimog. What is that? Those Mercedes trucks. Look it up. Unimog? U-N-I-M-O-G. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I hate you so much. Carl, why are you going to be so awkward? You're awkward. <laughs> you can just throw it back at me like that. You're awkward. That's ridiculous. Dude, that truck is way too big. Just got to get a drop hitch. That's a military vehicle. I think they that sounds awesome. Were. Why are you not in support of this? Out of all people who I would think. Because I know what the price tag is going to be on something oh, like this. Oh, like brand new, like. Money's not an issue. Grand. You're, you're uh, That's actually. Mino. That, p- excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, I wish money wasn't an issue. Help help everybody, guys. Help help Frankie get a Unimog. No, I don't want one. Oh, my God. I'm going to uh, get a picture of it. It's basically what are some a pickup Let's get this raffle Mercedes. going. They're huge. They're sick. What were you saying, Frankie? No, I'm just saying we should get this raffle going because right we now it's... get that raffle going. I mean, going. hey, yeah, it's, good, it's good for you guys that are listening because you're going to win if you enter right now. So, But for me, Ruining it's not good. everybody's cause... chances. There's only eight people right now. Yeah, those... Well, I need to. I need to try. I need to get these orders up. Come on. Get these Gotta orders up. Those numbers Got up, these are rookie the numbers. Shelves. These are rookie numbers. I personally have a banner in my garage. Great addition to the garage. Oh, yeah, we got Nabori flags. Nabori so. flags. I'll all spice day. it up with a grape pie chew in Malcolm's drawer. You guys got a new sticker, too. Orders come with that new sticker in there. Matches my IS. It's beautiful. It's a sweet sticker. Um, What yeah, else we got? We got Week Fest. Week Fest. It's a cool event right it's down not there how in you Edison, spell New week, Jersey. Though. What? It's pretty weak. It's not for a week. It's W-E-K. Yeah, it's pretty weak. There's That's a there's a little weak. accent on it, I think. Is it, shouldn't it be Weckfest? Yeah. You could call is it, it Weckfest? You could call I, it Weckfest. That's what I call thought. It you I think want. it is Weckfest. Let's I just may, call it. I may be German, but I don't, I don't know. Guys, chime in. Is it Weckfest or Weekfest? Yeah, let us know. I, I would like to know the name of the event the that we're going to. Um, We got to stop talking over each other. What? We said we got to stop talking over each other. This is probably miserable to listen to. I guess that's it, right? We don't yeah. have anything else. I'm hungry, dude. Let's get some food. Thank oh, you guys God. so much for listening. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on all that social. YouTube channel is Fire Faction Motorsports. Crazy on the upload game. 
consistent amount of fucking videos. Yeah, it's we're dope. doing two videos, one podcast a week. This That's week awesome. is going to be two podcasts. Two podcasts. So. Extra, extra little bonus for you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Happy birthday, Josh. Thank you for uh, blessing us with your presence last night. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Uh, thanks. Episode five. Ethan, you got anything to say? Leave us with... Do you have any cool cool, cool catchphrases? <laughs> I got no Leave cool us with catchphrases. Do you have any riddles? No riddles. I got nothing for you. Riddle me, Carl. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ethan. Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye. That's goodbye, it, everybody. Guys. Thank you so much.